If you're a fan of my channel, you probably know that my favorite part of Valheim is the weapons and the combat. There's just nothing like fending off a horde of Grey Dwarves with a freshly crafted shiny new delicious weapon. So, it would make sense that a new weapon announcement would get me particularly excited. Well, the devs just teased some new weapons for the impending Ashlands update, so I'd like to take some time to talk about them. Spoiler alert, if you prefer to venture into the Ashlands with a fresh eye, you might want to skip this video. Ashlands spoilers ahead. So, the developers shown us a full picture of four new weapons that'll soon be in the game. We have what they call a greatsword, a regular sword, a mace, and dual-wielding axes, or axon as my idiot brain might say. First of all, I'd just like to say that I love these designs. I've been kind of known to say that some of the less realistic weapons and armors don't really appeal to me. They kind of take me out of the historical aspect of the game. So the fact that these look especially realistic definitely excites me. I think the one-handed regular sword looks the best, but the mace looks fantastic as well. Pretty delicious. Okay, okay, let's go deeper. Let's start with the dual wielding axes. Now, I've never really been the biggest fan of axes as weapons. I think they can be effective, but they are slow and unwieldy. But if the mechanics were improved slightly, I think they could be fantastic and efficient. But with these dual wielding axes, I think things might change. I could see them still swinging maybe a little bit slowly in each hand, but with two hands, it might be pretty quick. I imagine a slightly slow start and then two hits in rapid succession then maybe a slower recovery or possibly a reverse slash with both axes at once to make a solid four hit combo. If done right, this could be a pretty devastating weapon, but they're still axes and while I'm hopeful, I'm not gonna hold my breath. And clearly holding two would be kind of weird for tree trapping, maybe more efficient, but it's kind of an odd choice. And about the designs, I think they look pretty great. Very realistic, and I like how there's not just two of the same axe. I could see some slash damage, maybe some pierce damage with the reverse side of the right hand one, and maybe even some blunt damage with the reverse side of the left one there. It's possible, but that might be just too OP. Now let's move on to the delicious new mace. Now that is a fantastic looking Morningstar style mace. I love this design. Very realistic, nothing too fancy, just brutal, efficient potential. Definitely all blunt damage, but it's possible it could add some pierce in there with the spikes all the way around. Morningstars historically have had a variety of different designs, but they do usually include spikes like this. But the porcupine already utilized blunt with piercing damage, so I imagine this might not follow the same damage styles. But I do, of course, look forward to trying this weapon out in my playthrough The Adventures of Waffles, where you know we love our maces. Now for the one-handed regular sword. This is probably the coolest looking sword I've seen in the game to date, at least in my mind. I think it's a very realistic arming sword and definitely a one-handed sword. It's got a really nice looking hilt and cross guard and I love the blade shape. This will be a fun one for sure. I don't expect it'll swing any different from any of the other one-handed swords we already have and I expect it to be pure slash damage, unless there's some sort of other element laced in there somewhere that might give us something special. Other than that, I really don't have much to say about it. It's a great design. Now, gimme. Finally, the greatsword. I think it's pretty clear that this is meant to be an upgrade to the Krom, which I think is a bit odd. The Krom is a Mistlands tier weapon and an absolute beast of a blade. Do we really need a new greatsword so early? I kind of lean toward no, but I'll take it. So let's talk about it. The greatsword looks pretty huge, and I kind of like the light leather wrapping that spirals up the blade a bit. It doesn't have a cross guard, but that's okay. It has an absolutely massive, wide blade and a long hilt with a ring at the end, which looks pretty cool. This greatsword is likely meant to be a massive slayer, just like the Krom. I can't imagine it having different swinging mechanics over the Krom, but it's possible it could feature a different secondary attack. Maybe a giant overhead swing to the ground, kind of like the secondary attack of one-handed axes, or maybe maybe a slightly less effective version of a sledge swing, but I do expect the greatsword to be slow to swing and take some getting used to and maybe be a stamina hog, but I bet it'll be just as devastating as the Krom. Okay, now I'd like to delve a bit into the realm of my opinions. Instead of replacing the Krom so quickly, I'd say give me something like a long sword or a bastard sword. Give me something that's lighter and quicker than the Krom, but maybe not as fast as a one-handed sword. A long sword would be a two-handed sword, but I think it could have the potential to become almost everyone's favorite weapon, especially for roleplay. Okay, okay, how about this for an idea? 
give me a long sword or a hand and a half bastard sword that can be used as a one-handed or a two-handed sword. If you hold it two-handed, it's as quick as a one-handed sword, but if you hold it one-handed like with a shield, it's a bit slower, maybe like an axe. I think that would be pretty fantastic. All right, let's move on. Aside from the weapons, the teaser post from the devs did picture a mysterious object that looks kind of like the Obliterator, but is apparently not the Obliterator. They asked for speculation on what it might be. I really don't know what it could be, but my guess is that it might act like an Obliterator, but you throw something in there with maybe using some Eider, and it kind of disassembles the item into the original resources. Now that would be really nice. Or maybe it might be some sort of lightning rod type thing that could infuse weapons with magical properties like lightning damage, or possibly some sort of ward against enemies in the Ashlands. I really don't know, but I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Okay, well, despite a few minuscule grievances and a likely futile wish list, I am very excited for these new Ashlands tier weapons. I especially like the designs of the one-handed sword and the mace. And this is definitely only the start. There may be more teased in the future. They didn't show anything about a new at gear or sledge. We didn't even see a new spear or dagger. Also, no new magic items, which I imagine will definitely be something coming. Oh, and no ranged weapons. In that category, I can absolutely see a new crossbow. But like the Krom, the Arbalest may not be something that needs to be replaced so early. But anyway, we will likely see a whole lot more in the coming months. I'm definitely excited to see what's to come. And that's pretty much all I'll talk about. So, did you enjoy this video? I haven't really done this sort of video before, speculating on things to come, rather than just testing out what's already been released. It's definitely difficult to speculate, but hey, I had fun. Hopefully you did too. Like the video, share it with a friend or two, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you in the next one.